to drive a traffic to your website or to get a rank on Google for your website, you need to do a lot of tactics. But the majority of people simply forget the performance of the website. The loading speed is very important. The speed of the website is directly proportional to the web hosting that you have. Many beginners starts with shared web hosting from the companies like Hostwin, HostGetter, GoDaddy and etc. This list is very huge. But to have a better website speed, your website needs to be hosted on VPS. It's called Virtual Private Server. But this virtual private server provider's list also is very huge. It will give you that lot of confusion which VPS provider is the best for hosting your website to get a better website performance. So today I am going to demonstrate you to host your website on free VPS with a free open source web hosting software that will give you the boost to your website performance and also it will give you that hundred dollar credit okay are you ready hey guys and girls this is nahu from nahudaran.com so in this video i am going to demonstrate you how to host your website on a free open source control panel a AA panel with the VPS you getting from the digital version. To get your feet wet, follow me along with this video by creating a free digital version account by clicking the link that I have given down below. It will give you that $100 credit that you can use to buy VPS servers as a free of cost. Okay. So once, so once you created your account by clicking the link that I have given down below, you can see the digital version like this in that as a first step you need to select, you need to click this create and choose the droplets. So here droplets is nothing but one VPS server. So in a digital version, each and every VPS, they called as droplets so you simply click the droplets so in the in that it will ask you to choose the os operating system for your vps so in this case i am choosing that sent os that version is 7 cross 64 this version i am selecting right and in the plan you can you can choose choose a plan either the dedicated CPU or shared CPU. So in this case, I simply just choose a plan shared CPU and simply select uh, this plan, right? So I choose with the regular, with SSD and pick this one, one GB RAM and one CPU core with 25 GB SSD disk. This one is enough for me. I just pick this. Then I don't need a volume and I choose. I am from India. So I am choosing the data center for my VPS server from India because my, my website visitors are coming from India. So I am picking the nearest data centers for my website visitors as Bangalore, right? then i simply leave this and i choose that authentication as password and here i type the password and uh, for this testing purpose i don't need this uh, backup but when you are doing this in your production you should have the backup option for your server right i just leave all of this and I just click the create droplet. Then my droplet is started to create. So it is showing me here that progress bar is coming. Okay, so within a few minutes, my 
VPS server is ready. So it's my VPS server uh, IP address. I what I do, I simply click on this and it will show me that uh, detailed list. So it is mentioning my VPS OS is sent OS and it has a one vCPU and one GB and 25 GB of RAM, right? So here you need to next step, we need to log in into our server, right? So for that, simply click this three dots, right? And click the access console. So once I click the access console, it will show me the page like this here. Simply click the launch droplet console. Then the droplet console will be launched. It's connecting to droplet and it's connected. So now my, I logged into my sent OS inside my VPS. Now I need to install the free open source web hosting software to host my website. So for that, I am going to use that AA panel. Usually that C panel is the um, paid version of the software, but AA panel is the free open source. It will provide you that lot of option it is fair enough to run a unlimited websites inside this VPS itself, right? So to install the AA panel, you just just paste the command. So I have given this command down below this uh, YouTube video, you can use this command to install the software. So simply press the enter, then it will start to install the open source web hosting software that is called AA panel, right? So it is asking me, do you want to install AA panel to the WW directory right now? I simply type yes. And do you need enable the panel SSL? I simply type no and it started to download and it started to installing the AA panel. Let me pause this. Okay, so after a few minutes that AA panel has been installed on my newly created VPS. So this is the AA panel access url for me i simply copy this right copy this url copy it and open a new window and paste this enter then it will ask me that username password to log in into my web hosting control panel right so that password is also there here So the password is username and password is given here. I just copy this username, copy it, and paste it on this account and enter the password is just this. Paste and login. So login succeeded. So this is the dashboard of my free web posting account. What I do, I simply save this password for the time being. So by default, this software is recommending me to install all these softwares, right? So I simply click the one click to install all of this. Then it will take few minutes to complete all of this software installation. So once it complete, I will show you how we can host our first website inside it is right. Okay, so after a few minutes, all of the necessary softwares have been installed by simply press the one click button. So now this is my dashboard 
of the AA panel. So here you can see in the left side website, FTP, dashboard, databases, monitor, security, all of the other options you are having. So our first step is we need to host a yeah, website, right? So for that, I simply click this website. So inside this website, we can click add site. So when I click this add site, it will ask me to enter a domain name that I wanted to host my website. So in this case, I just simply type my domain name dot com. Right. So then I choose select database as my SQL. You can also have a SQL server, but for that you need to have a paid AA software version. So then the database settings, PHP version, site category by default. If you want to apply SSL, you can apply it and WordPress deploy. You can just use the domain name, website title and username, password for your WordPress and email address prefix everything else so once you give this information the wordpress website will be installed on your aa panel web hosting then as usual you can access this website using your domain name to access using your domain name the main thing is you need to set or point your DNS record of your domain with this IP address, right? So this is the IP address for your uh, VPS server. This IP address you need to pointing on the A record of your DNS server, right? So in this case, you need to have a high performing VPS server with the free open source web hosting software that will provide you that good website performance for your website okay guys i hope you enjoyed this free lesson so i will see you more lesson like this in near future until then bye bye